When I was a mentor with Dave Kelly Hunter Trust, we had lots of personal development programs where we worked with young people. And we had some really great results with some of those kids. They went on to do some amazing things. But there were always some that never took our advice on board. And it felt really frustrating that you knew you were giving them some really good information that could make a massive difference to what they will go on to achieve. However, I guess the point was that sometimes you know you're just planting a seed and that you don't always see the fruits of your labour. The biggest challenge I've faced as a, as a mentor is um, working with people who are motivated, working with people who are um, hungry, <laughs> as it were, right? People who will do what you, you tell them to do, really. Um, follow the advice that you give them. And it requires um, some patience. It requires tact uh, because not everybody I've discovered over the years is as gung-ho as I am and, and will just go after it um, because, well, I didn't know this and this new information has come into me and I got to go get it. And so it requires, um, I can't use a kind of <laughs> strategy and approach uh, things with the attitude that I would when I was in the army. It requires, uh, it often requires tact. It requires you to be a little bit more understanding, it requires you to be a little bit more patient, it requires you to be a little bit more nurturing in order to get uh, people moving in the direction that you like them to. Ego is generally always a hurdle to climb over, particularly when you're working with more established professionals, uh, leaders that are have been in leadership roles for a while, and, and even up-and-coming high-potential uh, you know, people that you might be mentoring ha have a sense of inflated confidence or or ego. I think it's the reason that most people don't actively engage in a mentor relationship. I think most of us think that we've got it all figured out. No one wakes up in the morning, gets out of bed and goes, you know what, I can't wait to invalidate everything I know to be true today. No, as humans, we'll do the opposite. We'll we'll actually go out and validate our way of thinking as the right way of thinking and acting. And we'll try to influence other people to think and act the same way we do because we're so sure it's the right way to be thinking. And so our ego tends to get in our way of growth. And so the mentor-mentee relationship has to stem from a place of deeper sense of humility uh, a deeper sense of curiosity, um, recognizing that we don't always have all the answers, recognizing that there's value in me sharing my perspective and me getting your perspective. And when ego is playing rough shot in when that when it's driving the car, that type of relationship is really difficult to achieve. So I think the most difficult thing as a mentor is putting the needs of your mentee above your own needs.